Yeah, we have not seen recession, but what we have observed that volumes in B2B business uh, declined in the third quarter, um, and we expect the same for the fourth quarter. B2C volumes are flattish year over year, um, and we expect similar things for the fourth quarter. <clears throat> so there is not a real recession, but B2B is you know, declining already and will probably continue through the uh, fourth quarter. That's absolutely fascinating. A, a, a slowing picture going forward. What about on the global basis? Where does Europe fit into the global picture that you are seeing over at Deutsche Post DHL? Is this a phenomenon we're seeing across the globe? Yeah, we see uh, quite consistently. Europe actually was relatively strong uh, in our numbers, um, also the US, but I think now we see that you know, B2B volume is declining all over the place. I think this is anticipation of, or the fear of some customers that it gets worse uh, before it gets better again. Uh, as I said, you know, consumers have not reduced their spend so much, at least not in our volumes yet. Uh, and that's the reason why maybe B2B business is overdoing it at the moment. But these are normal effects we have seen in the past as well. Frank. Can you, can you help us um, break it down a bit? We, we spoke with Soren uh, over at Maersk, and he is very gloomy. And you will have seen a lot of the commentary from those conversations where he talked about the dark clouds of global recession are approaching, uh, TEU rates are in free fall, and so on and so forth. So shipping does seem to be a segment of the delivery industry that is under pressure. Um, you sound a bit more positive. Are you looking at different data or is it a question of just you're in a different part of the delivery cycle? I think it's, it's the second. You know, we, we are definitely have a very balanced portfolio. We are in business like warehousing and distribution, which is normally very late in a recession, very stable. We are not owning shipping vessels. It's true that shipping rates came down rapidly. Not unexpected. I never understood that people said, you know, we will see high rates forever. I always said, you know, that we will go back in, in normal times again. Our business is more robust against and more resilient, as we said several times, because we have not only a shipping line, you know, we are in the air freight business, we are in last mile delivery, we are in warehousing, and that makes us a pretty resilient, and that's the reason why we believe that we will have a very good year this year. The export numbers from China, again, were a little bit of an eye-opener. And, and it did suggest, actually, that both in terms of the world's second largest economy, import and export growth has stalled here. Again, could you help us put some colour on that? Is that, a, is that a B2B story or is that a B2C story? Is it a consumer shoe that's waiting to drop here, Frank? Or how, how do you analyse that data? Yeah, so overall, we are living in a very uncertain time. Unemployment has not picked up. We are living more in a very tight labor market, which is actually good news because, you know, if we have full employment, we have more consumer spend. Let's see what will happen now or, or, you know, over Christmas. I believe consumers will still buy for Christmas and we will see a solid uh, performance in the fourth quarter. 